No, you aren't imagining things. They really are playing Quidditch. The sport, based on the magical version from J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter series, has been adapted into real life. It's been taking the UK by storm since it was brought over from America a few years ago, with over 40 teams now signed up under national governing body Quidditch UK. Now there are seven players on a standard Quidditch team, and each player has to keep a broom between their legs at all times. And if they come off their broom at any point, they have to return to their hoops before they can get back in the game. Now there are three chasers, two beaters, one keeper and a seeker at on pitch at any one time. The three chasers try and use a volleyball, which is the quaffle, to score through one of the three hoops that you can see behind me. And if they do manage to put the ball through the hoops, that's 10 points for their team. Beaters, on the other hand, use dodgeballs, which are called bludgers. Now the beaters go around the pitch and try and take out their opposing team. And if you are hit by a dodgeball, you have to come off your broom and run back to your hoop before you can re-enter the game. Now I know what you're thinking, what about the snitch? They can't have a flying ball, right? Right. The snitch is actually a person. So the snitch runner wears a pair of yellow shorts with a yellow sock hanging out from behind it. And it's the seeker's job to try and get around the snitch runner and catch the snitch. And if they do that, the game ends and that's 30 points for your team. Until recently, the game had been confined to university teams. However, with the inception of the new Quidditch Premier League and community teams on the rise, that's all about to change. Peggy Cook is captain of the new regional team, Yorkshire Roses, who practice all over the county, including in York. Um, so the Yorkshire Roses are um, a county team which play in the Quidditch Premier League. Um, and so over the, the, the season, which is it's most of the summer, um, we play in the Northern Division um, and, and we play uh, several times and then there's a big championship at the end which is going to be held in Hull. Quidditch is one of the few genuinely co-ed sports. Anyone of any gender can play together on a team and it's this inclusivity which has contributed to its growth. But why do people play Quidditch? I think I still play Quidditch because of the community, like I mean a lot of great friends through it, we still keep in contact, like I can now travel all around the country and meet people I know anywhere. Uh, getting to throw bludgers at people, I think would have to be my favourite thing. Like it, because I used to play dodgeball and it harks back to those days and it's just a great feeling you get knocking someone out with a bludger. Um, so I started because I like the Harry Potter series and uh, I originally looked for Quidditch teams uh, in Sheffield when I started university but they didn't have one. So when I found out that we had one, I was very eager to join. I didn't realise at the time it was a mixed gender sport and how inclusive it was, but that's pretty much made me love it all the more. Um, I mean, I love that it's a sport where everyone feels like they're appreciated. I don't know if that's part of the mixed gender thing because I'm not being compared to other females, I'm being compared to other females and to other males. Um, I don't know if it's because it's so inclusive, but the whole thing just, it, it's just a really nice place to be, to play in. Uh, I played Quidditch mainly, it started as a means to get back into a team sport. I did on and off rugby, football when I was little, up until uh, college years and that. And I wanted a way to get back involved with like a good team and that. Yeah, just uh, meeting up with good people and building friendships. Absolute favourite thing, it's quite simple but it's got to be scoring, you know, like, again, this ex-football background. You know, the thrill of the goal, just the build-up of play and then passing it to you and you were able to finish it. Just fantastic, nothing beats it. With the game going from strength to strength and the number of teams growing every year, who knows, we might be seeing a little bit of magic at the Olympic Games in the near future. Elliot Gray, that's TV.